2019 was quite topsy-turvy with the roads, wets and transportation sectors. The Mabajide Songwolu administration set the ball rolling by declaring zero tolerance on traffic and potholes on Lagos roads. With its carefully designed themes agenda, with traffic management and transportation taking the lead, the government swung into action by reinstating the Public Works Corporation PWC to deal with fixing the failed portions of the roads. The PWC has been working both day and night carrying out palliative and repair works on over 350 roads in the five divisions of the state. This has definitely brought some sucker to the people. The year and the review also saw the federal government rehabilitating a number of roads, including the Lagos end of the lagos Ibadan Expressway. This resulted in collaborative efforts with the Lagos state government, mapping out traffic management plan to ease the traffic gridlock experience during the period. Another naughty issue was the Akpapa Oshodi Expressway, with the attendant inaccessibility into the nation's ports eventually. The federal government struck a deal with Dangote for the reconstruction of the road. This saw the road shut for 72 hours with truck and tanker drivers agreeing to the palliative measures. Oh, the rapid hardening cement. The purpose of that is that as we are pouring it, it strengthens almost simultaneously. We prepare this under a high temperature so that all those troubled portals will be filled to ensure this smooth traffic and prevent this truck from falling. A situation where truck will just kill is not the best. We want a situation whereby if truck must move out of the garage or truck park, it must be when its services are needed. Men of the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, and the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSA, also worked diligently in ensuring smooth flow of traffic in all the five divisions of the state. They were also trained and retrained to imbibe new techniques in reducing travel time on the roads. Legations were, however, enjoined to respect traffic signs, rules, and officers always. Sadly, some LASMA officials had to pay the supreme price for carrying out their duties. There's no more hiding place for those who flout the rules, especially with the inauguration of a committee on war against traffic and environmental offenders. We do not want people to drive recklessly. We want people to obey the traffic law. We want people to understand that they are not the only road user. They are not the only one that has rights of way. There are other people. So if you want me and, and you want me to finish well, don't drive against traffic. Why form three lanes where there are only two? Why go against traffic because you think you have, you, you, you have a meeting to meet up? Even people within estates dropping their children to school because they know the punishment for not taking their children to school for 8 o'clock, they drive erratically with children in the vehicle, not even strapped in. These are daily issues that we are in control. When you leave home at 7.15 and you cannot get to school normally at 8 o'clock, why don't you leave at 7 o'clock? The intermodal transport system of the Lagos State Government is up and active with Africa's first mega bus terminal, the International Oshodi Transport Interchange. The modern Wi-Fi enabled BRT buses with phone charging facilities, modern ticketing procedures and comfortable waiting areas has brought a new lease of life to commuters. The waterways are safe, fast and secure with the modern jetties spread across the state. More people are patronizing the upgraded facilities for the comfort of passengers and operators. To complete the intermodal transport system, Governor Babajide Sonwolu recently launched the Blue Line project, a real mass transit project connecting Mautu to Marina. The governor also hinted that there are plans to construct four other rail lines across the state. The Purple Line, which is from the Redemption Camp, through Ogba, Yanoi, Paja, Igondo, and terminating at Ojo is a 60-kilometer rail project. The yellow line, which is from Ota through Isheri Oshun, Ejigoma Foluku, Isolo, to National Theatre, it's 34 kilometers. And finally, the orange line, which is from Ikeja, crossing through Mile 12, Ikurudu, um, Eligama, Isiwo, Imota, and terminating at Agboa, it's 48 kilometers. Gradually, the pieces are being reset despite the bumpy and rocky challenges in the works road transportation sectors in 2019. There's definitely some hopes, expectations, and rays of light on the part of government and the people come 2020. Adetola Kayode, LTV.